Welcome back. Oh shoot. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It's the late night talk show on City Lock Radio each and every Sunday. I'm your girl Miss Leash. And I am Letitia, aka Legs Delicious. How you doing, people? How you doing? I'm doing fine. Mad fine, girl. Well, kind of fine. This this just this story about Colby is just yeah, we're just checking out some stuff in the um, ad break. And um, basically, we've just seen some more stuff that's bis- a bit disturbing about, not about his death, but just like commentaries that have said that he was going to die. Like people have been saying a little while ago, like there was a post that was, was it, what year was that one? Was it 2012? Was that 2012, that one? Yeah, I'm sure it's 2012. So 2012. And then the one was... And then one was, and that said that um, he's go, it said that he's gonna die in a um, helicopter crash. And then another one was a little video, like a, a cartoon, saying that um, of him dying. It was a video, crash. yeah, a cartoon of him in an actual um, helicopter. A crashed helicopter, and someone saying, "Pass me the trophies, man!" Like that is so. They've been wishing death on him for ages. You know, it's quite interesting that. I don't even know what to say right now. But that was in 2017. And then somebody else said that he started making black wealth. So they didn't want him, you know, he started making... Because remember... He the doing the schools and stuff. Huh? Was it he the one doing the schools and stuff like that? Doing what schools? Like making the schools. You know what? He did took some money into some schools, you know. I'm pretty sure he was. He did put some money into some schools or something. It's true. Um... Yeah, but they're saying they didn't want him to make black wealth because in the initial stages of these um, artists or these commodities that they had, they make a lot of money for the industries that they work in, like a lot of money that goes back into the white community as opposed to the black community. So when they decide that they're not gonna do that anymore, they then are perish. not happy with that. You say they perish. Mm-hmm. Your words, your choice of words is not very cool today, you know. But then you do perish. You do not die. say perish, but you, you could have said something else. Things happen. Okay, sorry. You know, you could have said it. Things happen. That's not very uncanny. So even for example, I don't know if you lot see Akon. Yeah? Oh, yeah. He's Akon City. Akon City. He's a G. He's also doing Akon... Um, so he's got a whole city. cryptocurrency. Yeah, so it's got a whole city. They've got their own banks. They've got their own schools. The whole infrastructure he has built himself. Yeah. Like everything, the currency, everything. Yeah. yeah. He says it's a hundred year pa- it's a hundred year plan. Well, he was providing electricity from before, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah, solar power yeah. electricity. Yeah. He put up schools as well. Yeah. Now that is a that is Yeah. And it's in Senegal, I think, isn't it? Yeah, Senegal. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what's good? You know, he's quite a young artist. And he made money very quickly. Apparently, he dropped two albums last year. One that was in Spanish. Akon, did he? Yeah. Right. One in Spanish from his label. Oh, he's got. Well, I know he's got bare people under him on his label. Yeah, but he's got a label called Iconic something. And um, he dropped two albums. One in Spanish and one that was um, Afrobeats music type. That's what he launched last I didn't even year. know he still made music. I didn't know that either, to be fair. But they only let you know what they want you to know because they don't want you to know that Akon's drop music isn't it because then it's going to help his wealth to create more wealth to put he's into got what, enough wealth anyway yeah, well clearly he's got enough wealth but the like, point, Lady Gaga is his artist is it mm. well he's made pair piece from her <laughs> that's what I'm saying that's one of his artists and obviously he's got a record label of how many different other artists on it that's why I didn't think he still made music I thought he made money from all his businesses but if he's still making money from the businesses and from his artists I mean, and from his music, then well, not go, well done you. <laughs> exactly. Right. Well it's, done you. It's interesting because when you look at other, like they were saying, the article was saying there's no other artist that has got a country. Yep. They've got their own city. Mm-hmm. A man like Jay-Z, man like Nas. buy like yachts or something or, you know, some cars or a house or whatever. I haven't heard them build a school. No. They might have donated some, donate money, done, like, some yeah, money to a to school. To build schools or something like that, but they haven't like built one with its own infrastructure yeah everything. where what's going to be taught is going to be 
they're beneficial to yeah to yeah. their country. It's gonna help build up that country and educate them in their own stuff. Yeah, that's a mad thing. Definitely, definitely. Bigger yourself, Akon. Yeah, no one can't talk to him. Nah, that man there's done. They're gone. Gone clear. As they say, gone clear. Yeah, just for the fact that he was smart enough to do it. Like, because not for for anything to thrive in terms of like, uh, like a country to thrive, mm. then obviously it's got to have it. Like, so if he just had a, his own town and they still used. The normal, the normal, what they use over there, the currency, what was yeah. the world people use? I don't know, maybe they got their own Senegal pound or whatever. But if he was to still use that, then it, it's not really going to grow in a, in a way that obviously for him having the whole city as his own, he intended for it. So like for anything to work, like, like okay, let me say, because I can't get my words out right, it's not making sense. So that Jewish people, they have their own schooling. Mm. They, they, the Jewish pounds. What they use between them is what makes their yeah. system grow. The they economy. Keep it, yeah, they keep it amongst their themselves. money. Goes spends get spent in their country. They their, have their in, own in the industry. Yes, their in own their, schools, their own families, and they build each other up by keeping everything in one infrastructure. It's their money, their pounds circulate seven times. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So he's smart because that's the system that he's used for anything to thrive. It's got to have its own infrastructure, and that's what he's built. Mm. So definitely, that is sick. It definitely is. Like that is sick. Mm. So yes, yeah, so for those of you that didn't hear, Eva Coffee has just won a Grammy for best reggae album for 2019. Well done, girl. Well done. 18 year old, I think. Of, but... I think she's 19. I heard her on one extra. She was saying. And the thing is, yeah, she she is so humble. It's mad. She is. She is. Yeah. But also, as well, she's so humble. You know that she um she's playing at the um the um FIBA Bowl. You know, in America, they do the um, Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Yeah. Sick. So someone I posted it. I was posted it the other day, and someone was saying to me um, that she, it might be too soon for her. Why? Because she's young. Because she's so young, and she should have. Um, a bit of time to have come and get in, into it. Okay, so Leanne Rhymes was the youngest to win a Grammy when she won it at 14 years old in 1997. Who is that again? That Leanne Rhymes. That name sounds familiar. Yeah, she's um, like a country singer. Oh. Maybe not, but yeah. But um, yeah, like she's so humble. And all of, do you know what? Probably the reason why she's got so far so quickly as well, all of her songs are about being thankful and gratitude yeah. and praise and like and her work yeah and like people underestimate how far being thankful will get you in life or just being yeah i can't even get the words out she's not okay she's 19 yeah Yeah, she's 19 like just being grateful for what you have like that will get you so far in life like, but that's what she says, isn't it? Blessings for for me, right hand. And yeah, it's interesting that, that she says her right, about that. Uh, on her right hand because you know Asians they only take money with their right hand. They oh, don't, is it? Yeah. So when they serve you, they will only deal with you. Think if they give you something with their left hand, then it's disrespectful. Oh. Yeah. So if you notice when they serve you or take money, it's always from the right hand. They don't deal with the left because they use the left hand to wipe your ass. Oh. Okay mm. then. I know that in your palm scratch if it's right. You get money if it's left, you lose money. Listen, that's just super. <laughs> Black people's got too much superstition. Super that, that's the only thing I know about. They say if your foot, um, if your foot scratch you, someone's gonna dead or something like that. Oh, I heard that one. I yeah, what's the foot had, scratch one? You had um, what's that thing called? Scratchy foot, athlete's foot. What? If your foot scratch you, you must have athlete's foot, no? Now, nah, how did you get that from that? If your foot scratches you, you have athlete's foot. How do you work that out, though? Like, I'm confused. That's the only reason why you have itchy foot, no? Your foot could just itch, though. Just like your hand might itch. Like when I'm tired, my body starts to itch. So I start. Yeah, that's true. I do that as well. Scratching, scratching. Like my friend Abde was like, "Oh, you're tired in it because you're scratching." I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> "What the hell do you know?" <laughs> yeah, I know that one. Yeah, so you know, it's interesting when you kind of look into it. But abundance, you know, abundance is um is a great thing, you know, because it's it's funny. I'm on this moment. I'm, I'm surprised you didn't um involve get yourself involved in it. But anyway. Each of their own, and when you're ready. Oh no! I listened to. It. I didn't like. I didn't like the sound of it. It sounded a bit too. Do deep at chopper. I don't know that first thing. It sounded too. I didn't like it. Um, I don't know what the word is. 
but I didn't like I didn't like the sound. Way he deeper, deeper. I know the that the man that thing. talks. Yeah, yeah. So he's um, deep at chopper. I didn't like the, the, the I think it was musical song. I can't remember what, what he was saying. I don't know what it was, but I listened to the first bit. But it's meant to like, be soothing. No, it's I didn't me- like it. <laughs> Somebody else actually. You know what? I'm just looking at myself in this thing, and my eyes just look like. But that's just the tightness. I can just see my eyes just look small and red, like I've been budding a big spliff or something. And boy. We don't advocate drugs. We don't advocate drugs. Don't do drugs, kid. No, but it looks like I've been doing something. Talk to Frank. But it's pure tiredness. I've been burning the candle, working seven days a week. And trust me, it's serious. Miss Marcy says, foot bottom is new ground, graveyard overseas. What? Huh? Foot bottom, if your foot bottom scratches oh. you, it's new ground, graveyard overseas. What does that mean? New ground, graveyard overseas. You're going to die overseas? What? I'm confused. Can you explain that in English, please? Because I know, yeah, you and your Jamaican talking, please. Even though it's written in English, but... <laughs> yeah. See, that's what I get it from me now. She's just worse than me already. <laughs> what bottom? It's new ground, graveyard overseas. Yeah, I don't get it. Oh, she's saying in England it's grave, it's new ground. Excuse me. It overseas... It means graveyard. So remember, I said if your foot, foot scratches you, it means someone's gonna dead. Yeah. So she's saying overseas, it's graveyard. Is that right, Miss Marsley? Overseas, it means if I your foot scratches. So if your foot bottom scratches you, it means graveyard that you're gonna dead or you're going to the graveyard. So like, me might be going to a funeral. I'm about to say, it mean I'm gonna die if my foot back, my foot bottom scratches no, me. No, did I say you're gonna dead? I don't know. No, someone's gonna dead. You know, like they say it happens in three. So if one person does it, it says that three more people are going to die. Two more people are going to die. That's what I'm saying. Black has got too much. Oh, okay. So, so how the hell did you get graveyard overseas from travel overseas? <laughs> Can you just write that again, please? Miss so Marsley. bottom scratches. I mean, I'm going to travel overseas. Oh, you know what? I ain't said them, them. Listen, I'll stop with Jamaican superstition, you know. So I don't even know what they mean no more. But I did used to know what the foot bottom mean. Old wives tales. That's it. Old wives tales. There's a lot of old wives tales that we can have right now, but yeah. How much people have them as well? Well, we derive a lot, not derive from um, from irons. But anyway, as I was saying about the abundance now, so I've been doing um, just 21 days of abundance, and I was meant to start it last year in November, but I did one day and I just had enough. <laughs> But really, it's not that I had enough. It's just that I wasn't ready. My mind wasn't in the place that it needed to be to be able to commit to taking half an hour for myself. And um, yeah, because I was in that, that that trap. I was in that cycle of of life and just living for other people and not actually living fully for myself. And that might sound a bit strange, but what it is is that sometimes when you look at what you're doing, you know, you're doing a lot of stuff, but you're not doing stuff that is... Beneficial, beneficial to yourself. to yourself or beneficial enough to yourself you know what I mean so yeah like and even when it came I wasn't even working at the time I'd taken a break from work um, yeah I'd taken a break from work and stuff like that and um, yeah but I just my plate was just full I just, I don't know what it was. I just couldn't, I just couldn't do it anyway. So basically I just left it and then spin round, yeah. But I stayed in the group, but I didn't pay attention to any of the information. And then spin round, come January now, I picked myself back up and I was doing my own meditations and my own routines in terms of my abundance and my I, I am affirmations and stuff like that. And um, then I got added to this group, 21 Days of Abundance. When I, took it, I said, wow, this looks familiar. So I went back to my old group and I looked at the thing and I said, wow, this is the same thing. So basically, I started in January, but it came at the right time because what had happened, as I said, I wasn't ready in November, but I was ready in January. Yeah, I'm feeling so tired. Wow, my eyes are. Yeah. So basically, now I'm on day 13. And like I said, I've been doing my own. I am grateful. I am thankful for, you know what I mean? So what you do is you write, I am. So I write, I am truly grateful for waking up this morning. I'm truly grateful that I'm fit and healthy with a body that I am happy with. So basically, you write these things that you're putting out there into the universe. I'm very happy 
Um, I try to do that before I get out of my bed in the morning. Three things that I'm grateful for. Yeah. So basically, I write between one. At first, I started with writing nine things, or just filling up a page. It was about seven to eight. But now I do two pages. How big you write? <laughs> you fill up a page with seven to eight lines. Yeah, but you don't write a line or under each other. I put a space in between, in it, because okay. it looks neat. I love you. <laughs> I was gonna say, how big you're writing? Well, it's not small. But <laughs> so yeah, so um, I write now. Write between fifteen and seventeen different. I'm thankful for things every single day. Is it different every single day? Seventeen things. Yeah, that's good. Don't get me wrong. Some of them I repeat. Mm, okay. But even when I was doing, um, I am thankful for things previously. We would write something different. So like when Kemi Falarin was doing her challenge, it was you had to add three things each day. So you would end up with 50 things in the space of a set amount of time. Mm -hmm. If it was 21 days, you would end up with about 50 different things that you're grateful for. And it could be grateful for the fact that you can see. You could be grateful for the fact that you can walk. Yeah. Grateful that you had food to eat today. Grateful that you got the bus and you was to, got to work on time. Because these little things are big things. Yeah, to people that don't have... That don't have, you might get to work late all the time and that could impact on your job because they don't... some people don't even have a job, so you should be grateful even if you're... Well, there you go. Yeah. And it's about talking about grateful for the things that you actually have here and now, mm -hmm. but equally grateful for the things that you are asking for because they say, knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Seek and ye shall find. Ask and it shall be given. There you go. I was about to say, can I? <laughs> I was just about to ask you, oh my days, man. You see that great minds think alike. But yeah, so every day, you know, I would talk about different things or, you know, in terms of the abundance training, you know, go through something different each day that you um, need to focus on. And you do a bit of meditation and just kind of go into the silence, which going into the silence is like, it's, it's funny or I was going to say scary but it's it's like because I don't know if I'm I feel like I'm not doing it right so I went and researched how to meditate what it is that I'm looking for because it's about breathing so because you'll be surprised that when you breathe deeply in through your, in through your nose and out through your nose how it relaxes you quite a lot and you kind of do that and go into the silence but go into yourself and connect with your higher self but I'm like, how am I connecting to my higher self? So I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, am I doing this right? Am I connecting? I'm like, shut up, Tisha. <laughs> shut up. And I'm like, okay, no. I can imagine you, you know. <laughs> yeah. So you say, like, you've got these um, these things that you say. So every time you start thinking about something, you hear the chattering, mm -hmm. then you start saying, nare, go, sing, or something like that. And that's to stop you from... See, that's what I thought. I think I heard chanting or something in that yeah, video. Yeah. That's what put me off. I didn't like it. Yeah, so it's that's like the Buddha. Me. So basically, it's like the Buddha. Because if you know the Buddha, it's like the peacefulest people in the world, isn't it? Because yeah. they don't kill nothing. They don't Buddhist. do this. The Buddhists, yeah. And they meditate for the whole of their life. Like, their whole life. They could start meditating from the age of seven straight up to 40. And that's man's just sitting there just... At peace. Yeah, at peace. It's mad... Remember when I went to Thailand, yeah? I went to this Buddha's place and the actual man's body was in a cage and he had his black glasses on and where he died and he... He was dead? Yeah, the man was dead but they put him into like a glass box and he was sitting there in the glass box. Yeah. Because... But you could see his skin and everything was just still good. I don't know what they did to him. I don't know what they did to him that could make him stay like that. But it was serious stuff. But this is all from him being in that meditation state and that whole... Yes, very interesting. So anyway, so basically the abundance and stuff like that. So what I've seen is... Like, I was blessed anyway, but I'm even more blessed and see my blessings are just rising, rising, rising. So... Yeah, it's just amazing. Like, once you put your mind to something, you know, and I already knew it because I remember back in the day I was doing it, yeah. And like, I would say, yeah, this is mine. I'll go somewhere and say, yeah, I'm winning that. That's mine, or this is mine. And I'd win it. I went into a dance. They gave me a graffle ticket and said, yeah, hold on to that, yeah. 
I said, all right, cool. So I gave everyone their raffles ticket and I put mine in my back pocket. So in the dance, bubbling out, bubbling out. And then they just started chatting, yeah? Didn't know what they were talking about. But another turned around singing out some numbers. And he was saying numbers, 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 yeah? And then I, and then I heard him say a number, but this time the ticket was in my pocket. Oh, yeah, you want a TV one time, innit? There yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. And I want a TV. But I didn't even know. I just, I just said, me. I was there running, going to the stage and getting the ticket out of my pocket. And then... I was thinking, shoot, am I even the right... <laughs> the right number? Yeah, That's and it was sick. the right number. I went to an event, I won three books. I went to a next event, I won £10. I went to... Ne everything yeah, that I said... I, and I always say, oh, I never win anything. That's why I never win anything. Exactly, because you're saying the wrong thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? So when you start being more positive and you start thinking, yeah, um, about what you want and be thankful for what you have rather than what you don't have, you know? You know, like they say, oh, like, even for a woman, if she's looking for a man, she starts talking about what she doesn't want. I don't like a man that does this, I don't like... Why are you talking about what you don't like? Yeah. Talk about what you like, like and what it is yeah. that you want because that's what you bring to you. Yeah. So when you start talking about negativity, negativity... Neg it's what you're going to attract. It's what you're going to attract. And that's why, you know, the thing is called the law of attraction because it's about the law the universal law of attraction and it's what you speak and what you say is what comes back to you mm -hmm. you know what I mean so if you keep focusing on oh, I'm broke I'm broke I'm broke I'm broke you say it in how many different ways so all of us are going to say okay because the thing is is that it doesn't know no different mm -hmm. if you tell the mind that you're happy the mind will be happy it will yeah. think that it's happy but if you tell the mind, I'm sad, then it will give you sadness. Then you're going to be sad, yeah. Then you're going to be sad. Mm -hmm. Same with, if you tell your mind that you're depressed, then it's going to keep going over in your head, over and over and over, and you're going to be depressed. Exactly. You know what I mean? So, when you're in certain states, you, it's up to you yeah, to, you to take to yourself, yourself out. out. I do that all the time, because if you don't, you're going to be depressed. When I can feel that sadness coming, or I feel like I'm yeah. going to get down or something... I will start doing stuff like I will listen, start listening to like some motivational um, videos. Yeah. I make sure I'm like active, like not just sitting down, doing mm. nothing. Like I have to keep telling myself, I'll keep repeating it in my head. You're happy. You're, this is good. This is happening today. You're in a good mood. Like you have to keep telling yourself. Otherwise, if you keep repeating in your head, I'm sad. I'm depressed. I'm down. You're going to sit there and cry. You're going to sit there and be depressed. You're going to yeah. sit there and be down. Like it's all in your head. Like even the other day, Round work, yeah, getting parking spaces is long. And then um, when we went to the Kemi's thing, yeah, the, one of the speakers, the one that's going to be at Worthy Women, mm. she was like to me, oh, no, it was great. I was getting here. Oh, Lynette. Uh, yeah, people was talking about parking. And I was like, no, it's fine. I'm sending my parking angels. And I was thinking, oh, she's got like, like she, kept, she said it to me. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I was, I was like, I thought it was um, like an app or something. Or... <laughs> I didn't seriously, and then it wasn't until she done her talk and went up, and then she said it again. But then she explained what parking angel was, and yeah. she explained that it was in my mind. I said to my parking angels, "Go find me a space. There's going to be a space when I get there." And when she got there, there was a space. Yeah. And I was like, "The, f the," f and I did it the other day at work when yeah. I was moving from one space. I said, in "The free in the free bays." I said, "Ah, oh, there's going to be a space there for me, parking angels. Please give me a space." There was a space. <laughs> He's actually getting shocked. Like, he was shocked. I was. I was. There was a space. <laughs> no, I used to do that all the time. So, um, even for myself, when I was driving, yeah, um, I'd be like, yeah, the space is there. I just think about, I just, in my mind, I was like, yeah, there's a parking space. And I'd go, wherever I'm going, the space would be there. Like, no question, no, no lying. Just every single time. I didn't even think about the fact that there may not be it. So I really put it out there in, 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 the, in the atmosphere. And the thing is, is that, like, you don't even have to repeat the stuff sometimes. Mm -hmm. You just already know it's there in it. So, okay, I need to, oh, oh, yeah, my parking space is there in it. So you just go and your parking space will just be there. Mm -hmm. Do you get me? Like, your bank account, the money will be there. How, like, me and some lady was talking the other day. And she was, it was funny because she was talking about... Uh, manifesting what you want and what you need. So I was talking to her and she was like, boy, I don't know, I'm going to pay my staff, you know, because I said to her, you're not making any sense. Yesterday you were talking about manifesting what you want. So you need to talk what you are saying, yeah? She said, don't worry, Letitia. On Monday, I'm going to send you a message saying paid in full. No, she said paid or something. I said, no, you're going to send me a message saying paid in full. So you see Monday come, about three o'clock, she sent me a message saying, paid in full i was like exactly because she was like 
she doesn't know where the money's gonna come from because what she does, um, they've messed up stuff. So she was like, she doesn't know where she's gonna get money from to pay for her stuff. Mm-hmm. I was like, you're not making sense. You need to talk what it is that it is that you want. And you were saying that the other day. And she was like, yeah, for true. But it was funny because I was saying to her prior to that, like, even for myself, like, I'm inspired. I talk to people about doing stuff. And even the last show of 2019, I was saying to people, take time for yourself. Even if it's five minutes, even for it's 10 minutes, take time for yourself. And I was taking time for myself. And I'm like, you're not making sense. Like, you're not acting congruent. You're not making sense. You're taking time for other people. You're not taking time for yourself. That's what happens though. We don't follow our own advice. Yeah. So you see now, listen, first thing, listen, I get up early like a mofo. And I'm going to change that now because I keep on saying I can't sleep. I only can sleep for five hours. Listen, I can only sleep for eight hours now because sleeping for five hours as you can see is not helping me and i know that the lord wants me to wake up for something in the morning but lord i can still wake up at five o'clock instead of four o'clock or even three o'clock because i can that's mental (laughs) it is i am tired i'll be at work at the computer like this and i'm like start nodding and i'm looking around because i open my office i'm looking around who can see that i'm falling asleep at the desk like it's scary Listen, I've got to customers' house. I've got to clients' houses, yeah? Now, I better not be saying this, you know? I don't know who's listening. Yeah. But the reality is, is I've gone there and I've sat there and I've looked back on the paperwork later on and I'm like, when I'm typing it up and I'm like, what did I write? And I've, listen, one time the kid said to me, one of the children turned to me and said, oh, are you tired? <laughs> this is me now? But I ain't got my glasses on. So when I ain't got my glasses on, I can't see properly because I kept having to blink. And it's like to tell the Britney a lie because I was sitting in the man's house <laughs> dropping asleep. And it's not because listen. I, said I ain't got my glasses. I said I ain't got my glasses. I told the boy I ain't got my glasses to backside because I was. Oh. Yeah, that is funny. But I'm gonna change that line because sort of all the the positivity that I talk about. I when it comes to my sleep, I keep saying that I only sleep for this amount of hours, and it's not enough for me. I need more hours sleep. God, yeah. I'm gonna thank you for giving me eight, seven hours even. Thank you for the seven hours sleep. Thank you for the seven hours sleep. So even when I write in my abundance book, I'm thankful that I woke up this morning and I'm bright and fresh. Because I'm going to be bright and fresh. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Mikey's busting up. Mikey Blacks is busting up. No, brother, it's true, it's true. He said it's all about winning stuff to come to you. Uh, Miss Marsley Fool says, As a man thinketh, speaketh, so shall it be. And... Um, Miss Kess Sims, big up yourself, Leroy Smith. How you doing? Big up yourself, Uncle Clement. Glad you're feeling good, Uncle. Welcome. Um, guys, make sure you're sharing the pages on Facebook and on Instagram. Kess Sims says, Priest of Things. Yes, Lynn Scott, who's going to be at Worthy Women on Wednesday, this Wednesday down at the, um, what's the bar called? Ain't the first Wednesday of fe- February. Oh yeah, the first Wednesday, I thought that was this week, next week, week after mm. next, Worthy Women, that's the 3rd, 3rd of February, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Yeah, the 3rd of February down at, she'll let us know in a second anyway. So she said, parking angels are the best, they work every time. She said, mindset is everything, we are in control. What we listen to is important when we are feeling down. Need to listen to empowerment music. Big up yourself, Musa. How you doing, my brother? Big up yourself. Happy New Year to you and Happy New Year to everybody. Um, big up yourself, Jay. Welcome back. You took your time, bro. <laughs> I mean, the show's nearly over. She said you took your time. Yeah, but he was on the last um, thing. And Maybe I- he had something to do. He might have to quickly go iron his clothes for work. You could iron and listen at the same quickly time. Go eat dinner. All right. You're eating so late. You're going to get fat like me, you know. Washing the dishes. <laughs> You're going to be a fluffy like me. Guys, we was meant to talk about sexual exploitation, but we're going to have to move that on to another week. So apologies, because we've just been talking about other stuff. But anyway, so back to the abundance, yeah? So yeah, so I just be writing all of this good stuff in there, innit? I just writing good stuff that I want in my life. I ain't thinking about negativity. And the thing is, even if you do think about something negative, you just have to switch it around quickly, innit? So if you say, well, I'm feeling a bit depressed, you know, you say, no, actually, sorry, I was feeling depressed, but I'm not feeling depressed anymore because you've got the power to change it around to the way that you want it to be. 
You know what I mean? So in the morning now, I wake up like, as you know, I, I tell you, I wake up <laughs> at like four o'clock in the morning sometimes and I'm like, no, I can't do this. And I just lie there till... So quarter past five now is my time to get up and start that doing my... That is mental. Me, I'm still tossing and turning at five. Listen. Snoring, are you at... <sighs> I would love to be snoring at five, um, fifteen in the morning, but... 5.15 is, well, before that I wake up, but 5.15 I say, okay, now it's time for me to get up. So I turn on my little night light, my little red light, district light. Yeah. Was, no, so I said it because it's red, it's a red light, but it's a heart red light. <laughs> so I turn on my little light, my side light. I light my candle in my um, my salt candle um, holder and um, then I'll start my meditation. So I'll play my affirmations. So I've written out my own affirmations. I am beautiful. I am powerful. I am positive. I am a money magnet. I am successful. I am a princess that is going to be a queen when I marry my king. I am the mother of. I am the child of a king. All this kind of different stuff. I wrote it down on and a piece of paper. It. And I recorded myself. Oh, sick. Yeah. So then now what I do is I play myself and read it at the same time. Oh, okay. In unison with what I've written and I've written because it's, remember it's my voice so I'm hearing myself saying it anyway so even if I don't read what I've written I'm hearing my voice at the same time as well mm -hmm. so basically I'm double whammying it, whammying it up and then so I play that I play two of them now I've got a next one that I've made now as well I do that then I write out my, what I'm thankful for and I write out something else I can do I can will I can be what I will to be it's one of my mantras I can also write a whole page listen so even when I was at work here there's a, um this family that came from um, Pakistan right you get me and this, this yeah yeah sorry I'm just feeling the hairs on my chin <laughs> and I have to pull them out not really so basically what the guy was doing he'd have a piece he's got his book and he was just writing the same thing. I said oh what's he writing oh he's writing God is good God is good and when I say yeah the whole page was full every single page back and front and the man's writing was tiny and he was just repeating God is good or whatever he was writing on the page just repeated it repeated it repeated it repeated it so every day I write one whole page of one uh, mantra and another page so in the one book I start at the front is one mantra and the back is another mantra so until I get to the middle so I've got two of them going together into the middle and I repeat it I repeat it but now I've been into a song you get me so think for us because I'm a money magnet, I'm a money magnet, she's a money magnet, she's a money magnet, I'm a money magnet, I'm a money magnet, she's a money magnet, she's a money magnet, I'm a money magnet, I'm a money magnet, she's a money magnet, I'm a money magnet, I'm a money magnet, she's a money magnet, I'm a money magnet, she's a money magnet, and I do that, and on my wall, does that, yeah, see I'm letting out some of my secrets right now, yeah, so on my wall now, why are you gangster, I'm going to I'm excited, it's not gangster, it's excited, you yeah, but listen, <laughs> <laughs> so on my wall I've got money on my wall and it's, I've got a £50 note on my wall <laughs> give me some in front of my bed so it's what I see the first thing I see imagine if you come home and it's gone <laughs> what are the kids coming to get <laughs> I'm joking I'm sorry I'm sorry go on <laughs> so on my wall I've yeah. got my um, my vision board is on my wall in front of my bed innit? I made my wall into a vision board and basically I've got a £50 note but I've changed the zeros on it why are you laughing Mikey don't laugh, you know. <laughs> Don't laugh, brother. No laugh. <laughs> you get me? Congratulate. Anyway, so basically now I've got a £50 note. And what I've done is I've changed the zeros. So 50 is obviously 5 and a oh, But I've added more zeros onto the £50 note. You defaced the £50 note? Yeah, it's my £50 note. Oh, my God. Yeah. So the, it says 50,000 or 50 million, whatever, however many notes it is, is on that £50 note. But what I've been trying to do, I've been trying to find somewhere, if anybody knows, where I can get a stack of £50 notes. I want a stack. Bank? No, no, not real ones, fake ones. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's like the bank. That's the cool. bank. All right, draw it out for me to bring it over, yeah? The bank. So I just want a stack of £50 notes, isn't it? Why don't you just print some? Yeah, that's what I want to do. I'm going to print it. I don't know how it works. Cut it out. I'm going to Google it. That mm. might be illegal, fake £50 notes. No, but it's not going to be that fake. No, no, but I'm saying if you was to Google it to print some, or no, I've been, I've been Googling it. I've been looking on eBay to find I fifty pound notes. They're gonna come for you. But you've know, got them tissues. You ah, can get them tissues. No, yeah, so I was wondering if I should use the tissues. But I just want a stack of fifty pound notes. So I can have it on the side and say, "Look at this money," and, and, and abundant with the money, the, the stack of the fifty pound notes. You get me? Because this is all what it is. Is what you see is what you get. And we've seen in them videos of the um, 
the Americans and they got stacks of um hundred dollar bills or one dollar bills. They got stacks and they got like this like it's a telephone and all this kind of stuff. So basically, I just bought my fifty pound notes the same way in it. Why you get some one dollar bills? One dollars. What's that gonna do for me? Still money. Yeah, it's still money. But what am I gonna get one dollar bills for? From I see. Listen, I saw um an African couple when I was at the exchange place. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They were yeah. buying bear. And they was putting stacks in their bag. Like, yeah, you know what it is for the wedding. Them. Yeah, that's what I thought it they was. They go to the weddings, yeah. Stacks and they give out, they dash one dollar bills right. at the wedding person. But they have bare stacks. They had a good, at least 500 or more. Maybe I should do that for real. Just get some one dollar bills. Or even Jamaican dollar bills, because their dollar bills is enough. Mm. But yeah, so that's the thing. Right there. So yeah, so I'm a vision board now, and I I've got to make an actual live vision board. I made one on the computer, but yeah, but why don't you print it out? Because I didn't finish it. Because I did one as well, and I printed it out, and that one's up there too. I but um, to. but the other part of it is not about just making a vision board and not working on the vision board, yeah. So it's not just printing it out and thinking. Because don't get me wrong, you can will it to you, as well, but you also have to put the work in. Yeah, of course, you can't just stick stuff on a vision board and think it's gonna come to you. Woohoo! No. So each day in the morning now, I write out my stuff and after I've written it out, I say it out loud. Then you go for a run? No, I don't go for a run. Oh. Not at the moment, my ankle's not well. When my ankle's better, I'm going to start going. I've been doing a walk for 10 minutes in the evening to kind of work, help work out my belly and them things there. My body, <laughs> get down my legs because they're a bit thick. But, um, so I do that in the morning because. and then now in the night time, I read it again in the night time because also you have to remember what you last think about is what goes into your mind when That's you go true. to sleep. What are you going to dream about? What are you going to dream about? So I will read back through my, um, affirmations in the night time. So then also now also I then go to YouTube and I'll play one of my, I am affirmations or I play this manifestation video. Or I play some kind of sound waves because they've got these. You see, sound is very important. <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you was talking about affirmations and he just come out with this. Yeah, but are you told me I ain't got a boyfriend now, brother. I think maybe because of your song, he used to sing Valentine's is coming. I was finished, your boyfriend. <laughs> but you, you know what? Sitting at home. When I oh, read that, yeah. When I read it, I was thinking, ain't never a song that that's like yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> little boy. Valentine's is coming. Bro, let me tell you something. Your boyfriend. You are sitting at home. Let me tell you something, my kid. Lonely. And I know, say, you ain't no fool and no half idiot, yeah? So I know idiot. you know about Valentine's is a fallacy. You understand? Yeah? Yeah, he's talking about the song. So, <laughs> wait, is he, he's not asking me, are you in my arts? No, he's the song. Yeah, it's the song. Why is he going to sing that song? Because <laughs> you... He's not singing that song. Because you were singing the affirmation song? Yeah, but I was singing affirmations. I wasn't <laughs> singing Bad Times is Coming With Your Boyfriend. That's not an affirmation. I don't know. That's Where's Your Boyfriend? I'm going to sing Bad Times is Coming With Your Boyfriend. I'm going to say, Bad Times is Coming, Here's My Boyfriend. Bad Times is Coming, Here's My Boyfriend would be the affirmation. He's singing that song for you. Yeah, because he wants to know where your boyfriend is. Mikey, if you want to ask her out, just send her a DM message and ask her out. You want me to punch you? <laughs> no, but he's singing, talking about where's your body. He's, he's not... singing that because you were singing the affirmation Yeah, song. but that's not affirmation. No, Valentine's but maybe coming. it reminded him of the song. I don't know. I don't know. Well, redeem yourself. Who's trying to call me right now? My boyfriend, you see? <laughs> he's coming up my boyfriend to backside. <laughs> Sorry, bruv. I'm on the radio. You should know that by now. No, that's funny. But yes, anyway, so in the night time, yeah. you read your affirmations again. I read them again, and I go to YouTube, and I play one of the videos that I have. So there could be eight hours long. Listen, it was so funny. I was like, look at that. I must have went to bed the other day about 12.30, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then woke up at like three something in the morning. And the affirmation still playing. was still playing. I'm saying, look at that. The affirmation ain't even free, Bob. You ain't even finished, and I wake up so early already. I can't even play eight that's hour right. affirmations because I don't even see it for eight hours. It don't make no sense. Yeah, and there's me trying to find the longest affirmation. <laughs> you get what I'm saying to you? See, I told you. I was singing it because of the song you're it singing. It must have reminded him of How the song. How though? That song doesn't go with my song. <laughs> it doesn't go. It's not the same beat. It's not the same rhythm, brother. You're not making sense. You know, like sometimes something <laughs> triggers something. <laughs> <laughs> Valentine's is coming. Where's your girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! -y. 
Ah, oh, too funny, too funny. Guys, it's a late night talk show every Sunday from 9 till 11 on City Lock Radio 89.4 on your FM dial. Guys, what do you want us to talk about next week? No, we'll talk about this. Oh, yeah, next week we'll talk about trisexual interpretation. And we can um, discuss something else. Yeah, well, this is a lot to talk about. So, child exploitation. What is child sexual exploitation? Because it is a form of sexual, uh, of child sexual abuse. So, we're going to be going through the different aspects and the different levels of child sexual exploitation. I think it's important, guys, that you um, kind of um, tune in. Because, actually, there's something else as well. I was um, talking to a colleague the other day, yeah, and she was telling me, so, you know these manga cartoons, these manga magazines, you need to be careful of what your children are. Oh, the don't, they, ain't they, they're storybooks. They're sexual connotations. Oh, they? They're child abuse in these, in these magazines. And because it's a magazine, the magazine says 18. So, a parent was buying these magazines for her son. Oh. When they must have saw the magazine, when I saw the so pictures... She read it to see... She didn't read it because it's a magazine, so she just thought it was a magazine. Yeah, but it says 18 on it, so you're going to look. Yeah, but it's just like people buy video games at 16 for their flipping 7-year-old kid or 10-year-old yeah, kid. But even with that, you know what you're buying. You should know what the well, game is. Well, well, it's killing. That's why the kids are just sold in sensitized to shooting right now. So, basically... When I looked at the pictures that the girl showed me, yeah, I'll show you after this because I took a photograph of it because we need to kind of research it to talk about it. But basically, the mum... Oh, man, it's disturbing. Apparently, it's not illegal because... And it's this stuff is sold in W.A. Smith and even... What's that book stop? Is it Waterstones? The magazines are yeah, sold yes. in these shops as well. And it's not illegal. The woman, the social worker, called the police when she saw all of this and she cracked up all the books and everything and she had to give it back to the family because it's not illegal. What did she call the police? Because well, apparently... She the family about it. No, she did, but basically it was a case of to try and give them, provide them with information. It wasn't to get them into trouble, but it was about information. So this family is now on a uh, child protection... Um, Order. Yeah. So, basically, they've got a social worker visit their house every 10 days to check and make sure everything's all right. Now, this, per this parent innocently and family members was innocently buying this child. I don't know the full ins and outs on it, so don't question me on it. But, basically, the parent was innocently buying their child these manga uh, magazines, thinking that it was just a magazine. But when you look at the pictures in these magazines, the mum is carrying out sexual abuse on her children on her child what it was of? so disturbing like when i saw it i was like i felt sick and what was interesting was why is the kid buying it why does the kid keep requesting them because basically the child has um, got autism i'm not saying that's the reason why but these magazines it was the only thing that was keeping this child quiet so the, that's not the only thing that's in the magazine but that's a feature that was in the that's in the magazine as well mm -mm. So the magazine looks innocent enough, but what they were saying is that Japanese people, they look young. So what they were trying to say is that they look young anyway. So the, the images of the people in there, they look young. So it's like they're trying to say that it's not actually children. Okay. It's adults, but they look young. But it's a fake because the mum actually said to the kid something like, she did something. She put her hand in the child's vagina and said, this will keep you young. What? Yeah. Exactly. In the magazine? Yeah. Awesome. Right. So basically, I'm going to do some more research on it. But guys, it's very important. So that's what led me to looking at child sexual exploitation. And what is it? Because there's a lot of grooming that's going on on social media that we may not even realise that it's happening to our children. They're talking to people they don't even know. They're faking their ages, you know. And it's our responsibility to make sure that our children are safe. You all have internet in your house and you can put parental controls on the devices. So I'd be calling up Sky saying, listen, I'm not happy because my Sky's not working good in my room on the top floor, yeah? 
and they're saying, well, you've got 10 devices connected to your internet. So what? I'm paying £20 a month to have 10 devices or however many devices I want connected. Yeah. But the reality is, is I'm like, how do they know? But obviously they know, innit? Because you've got serial numbers and everything that's connected. So each serial number, yeah. Now this is me just playing off my head now because I ain't that sm smart, but I'm very clever. So basically each serial number, you can connect to that serial number and you can put a parental control on that number. So for example, your son's phone, you can put his phone, you can put parental control on there. So he can only watch stuff that's up to a certain age. But then... I was sitting down watching um, the TV. We was all sitting down in the living room on um, Friday night now, yeah? Now, Shay's in there. So, we're, this is just after seven, you know? We was watching... Um, is it Emmerdale? And the man was beating up. The man beating him up, beating him up. Black and blue, black and blue. And I said, That's not you shouldn't be in there. Yeah. But it's seven o'clock. The watershed is what? Nine, nine o'clock? Yeah. And the man beat up the man and then left him for dead. And I said, now I'm sitting down there with my nephew watching Emmerdale. We wasn't actually, I wasn't watching it, but we was just all in the living room as a family, just, you know, chatting and whatever. Mm. And this is what was on. So he's seeing how to beat up a man and then cover him with bushes in the bush. Do you get what I'm saying to you? <laughs> At seven o'clock in the evening. We have to be very careful what of what we're exposing our yeah. children to because indirectly we're exposing our children to madness. So anyway, guys, thank you very much. Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gigi. May you all rest, rest in, in peace. Peace. Um, peace and love, guys. It's a late night talk show. Take care of yourselves. Tell everyone who you love that you love them. I love you guys. Love you guys. Love you, sis. Love you all. May my dad rest in peace. Guys, stay blessed. Catch us up next week. We'll talk about child sex support exploitation. Tell a friend to tell a friend. To tell a friend. Share the page. All of you on social media, share the page. And let everyone know what's going on for us. And um, keep the love. Spread the love. Share the love. Yes. What's this? Ringgit. 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 Ring what about honour, peace and respect? Honour, peace and respect. Love, peace, honour. Respect. Respect, honour, peace, love. <laughs> and also, I put up the video on the Instagram TV on the late night talk show about chicken. And I'm going to put up the next one about cheese, yeah? So make sure you check out our Instagram TV on late night talk show. <laughs> Pick up yourself, Mikey. Stop. Valentine's is coming. Where's your girlfriend? Hey, Leash, Bad Times is coming, lady. Oh, he said, Leash, Bad Times is coming, baby. Woo! Safe journey to you, brother. Bless up yourself. Peace and love. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>